Hey, Myers. Myers in Toledo, Ohio on the Lexus Road. Is this you again? Y'all letting people bring pit bulls is clearly not a service dog. Not only into Myers, but they go right over to the produce department and they see me filming them and I don't care. Look how dirty, nasty they look. They would bring a whole pit bull into Myers into the produce department. I stopped right there dead in my tracks as soon as I came in to film them. People had to walk around me. I wasn't going nowhere. Disgusting. This is the exact same one. Now, what's going to happen when I have 20, 30 videos like this of the exact same Myers where people have dogs in the produce department. You're not even supposed to bring pet dogs in there. And that's clearly not a service dog. It's clearly not. Don't even let me get into it. Now, what if that mutt, there's people in there with their family. You see how people had to walk around me? What if that worthless mutt actually launched an attack on someone? Aside from that, that thing is contaminating the atmosphere something crazy dander is going everywhere as that thing moves about it's releasing dander in the environment dog culture review told us about how these air purifiers have to crank up its efficiency simply when a dog walks into the same room so what do you think's happening now? And you can tell that thing is filthy, nasty. Look at how nasty the owners are. That thing looked like it's ready to dart away and attack someone. Now these type of people make you want to just walk up and neutralize them. But I was able to control myself. Congratulations, Meyer. I'm going to send this to the health department as well. But they probably won't do nothing because they're full of a bunch of nutters up in there as well. But eventually, after our numbers are high enough, see, there should have been multiple people in there recording that guy as well. And there should have been multiple reports to the health department about this one incident. I was the only one that complained and record this dude or these people. They shouldn't have been allowed in there. Now, there was nobody at the front door. No one. There usually is a store greeter, but the greeter doesn't even stop people from bringing dogs in. They pet the dogs themselves, pet dogs. So they routinely break the law. This is against the law, in case y'all haven't known. It's like the people who even work there they're not even aware that this is against the law. They let them put dogs inside of shopping carts and everything. After I reported this, someone asked me if the dog was inside of a shopping cart because that's the only thing they object to. In other words, anybody can bring their pet dog inside of a... Forget about anybody who is allergic and if they have an allergic reaction. Forget about people who have sinophobia. Again, people were walking around with their families, with their small ones in this place. These people are disgusting. They're breaking the law. This is against the health codes, right? Well, we're about to find out. Because I'm going to send it to them. And I'm going to keep sending them. I'm going to keep recording these nasty people. And eventually, a lot of people are going to record and object to these nasty people and force them to obey the law.